All right. Okay, I am alive. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the thing is, my mic keeps acting up a bit. So, if I am sounding a little muffled, I am sorry. Um, I would really appreciate if my mic just acts normally for once. But yeah, we are gonna continue on with the cooking simulator and. Uh, <laughs> I am just hoping I don't burn the kitchen or drop the fish anymore. I want to get used to the mechanism of cooking in this game. Um, and just because it's a nice, like, relaxing, chill game compared to the bridge curse. So yeah, we shall get started. Let me just lower the volume if it's a little loud. <laughs> But I think it should be fine now. Alright. So our community challenge started. It is the carrot hot dog slash, slash OG ramen challenge. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you heard it. I got the idea. The carrot hot dog was definitely from Mike. Um, <laughs> thanks Mike. Thanks for showing me that TikTok. Apparently it's like a vegetarian version of it for all those who can't eat hot dogs, right? And uh, it seems all right. I feel like the texture is what's gonna make me get thrown off a bit, but I think it'll be all right. Um, and the OJ ramen, it's kind of like a running joke slash prank um, among the, the DGen Discord people. Uh, I made them try the OJ ramen because they thought I actually had that before. I was just like joking around saying it's good. <laughs> but they actually tried it. Mike, um, Nick, and Yay, I think tried it. And now I think it's my turn. If, and only if, we redeem it. So, <laughs> that is the only reason I'll make myself suffer, you know? <laughs> but I think we should get started with the cooking simulator. That is all the news for now. Um, if I think of anything, I'll let you guys know. Alright, cool. Let me go to my stream manager. It is good. Alright, good to go, good to go. And I hope everyone's been having a good day. I- I kind of forgot all the controls already. Um, I want to cook some- I don't- wait, skip the preparation phase. I think I should get some food. Like... Not that spices, maybe spices. Mm, hold on, let me let me double check. I wish we could run in this game. So sour cream that's been left outside for like a good bit. We have enough seasoning. What is this? Oh, true. Tongs, we got that. I feel like seasonings last a little bit longer. Oh, I think we Gucci. Is there a way I could take this back? Oop. How do I grab you? No, like... Ah! Oh, E. True. Um, I'll put it here. Nope, I can't. Here. Just so... Oh, I could blend things! Oh, I didn't know that! Wait a minute. Alright. Liquid, maybe some water. Why do we need water? I mean, I'll get you that just in case. Buy some chicken broth, and then maybe some. Uh, what is it? Miscellaneous. Ooh, blowtorch. <laughs> I feel like that's a recipe for disaster. I'm definitely going to burn the kitchen down if that happens. Crazy. Um, well, I think I'm good so far. If anything comes up, I'll just buy it on the way. <laughs> Shout out to the magical ca cauldron? Is that how you say it? Um, oh, we have three minutes. Do I... Mm, do I have to buy any? No, I'm okay with that. There's potatoes, onion, lemon beetroot parsley root is parsley root good carrots uh-huh and then there's a the knife we have the onion there sour cream i'll put the chicken broth where all the other seasonings are okay and then this hmm. 
I just want to organize it a bit. Like, where did I get this lemon from, you know? Go throw. Oh, true. Okay, dump. Then this one. Mm, big pots will go here. Sponge there. Baking tray. Okay, starting to look a little, a little organized. Um, seasoning. I think it's like most of it is this way, so I'll just put the seasonings there. Okay, this is some cleaning up. 92, 250. Mm, salt. Black pepper and salt will be there. Horseradish and all the others will be there. And then cayenne pepper will be in the middle just because it is cayenne pepper. <laughs> and I'm still coughing. Strange. <laughs> Let's see. Beetroot. Music. What happened? Okay, there we go. Chicken broth, all the way there. I'll just put you guys next to the sour cream because I don't want to go back and forth. Okay, there's the tongs. You know what? I'll put all the utensils like here. I wish there was a place to hold them. Can I put you there? No? All right. Timer. Hmm. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's handy, but I'll just leave it there. Alright, it is pretty tidy. I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, but is there anything else I'm missing? I think I should- <gasps> Right, I definitely need a measuring cup or something to pour the soup into because it's just like crazy. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> a ladle? I think I should get a ladle. <gasps> How bougie am I? Guys, we have upgraded. <laughs> I can't. This is so cute. <laughs> and you're way off to the edge. I'll just... Okay, there we go. Alright, we should be okay then. Seven seconds. Double checking. Oh, what are you? <gasps> oh, timer. Oh no. Reward? Yeah, I'll just leave you there. The first guest should arrive shortly. Alright. Last chance, if the customer leaves disappointed, we're going to lose a star. <gasps> All right, so that's not good. We have to go here, make chicken broth, 700 milliliters um, to a pot. Okay. To a big pot, 700. Okay. Uh-huh. Not me just like totally missing it. Are you out? Alright. We dump that. Crap, we definitely need more chicken broth. Okay. Alright, that's nothing that's nothing bad. Bye. Oh my gosh, speaking of tomato soup though. I went to Panera, right? Oh, we have to add it? 700. Uh, oh, okay, there you go. That's a little over, but that's fine. Okay, and I'll leave you there. Um. Okay. I need to add some salt. 12 grams, 12 grams of black pepper as well. I have this habit of ex like pressing escape. Crazy. Maybe it's because of the other game. The bridge curse. I'll add a little bit of salt just because I like it a little bit savory. Black pepper is a good choice. <gasps> 15. Oops, it's just going to be a little savory as well. A little spicy. Okay, cool, cool. And then six grams of cayenne pepper powder. And then tomato 960. I think that's like eight. Okay. Cayenne pepper's in the middle because it's spicy, so it has to 
one, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm kind of like, interesting how they put cayenne pepper. I mean, I never really had cayenne pepper in my tomato soup before. So, or just like in general as well. So I don't know how spicy it really makes things. But I know like, if you want to make spicy chicken, you always have to add cayenne pepper. Same with like buffalo uh, chicken. Crazy, which hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make in this game. I don't know how far like they done with the recipes, like the dishes. Okay, so how many tomatoes is that? All right, I think two more. It's like 600 and something. Okay, uh, where is it? Two more. 120. Just gonna be extra tomato -y. One, two, three, four, five, six. 120. I think I went over. Oh, okay, 960. And then 120 onion. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. Yeah, I remember adding like eight tomatoes for this recipe. Okay. Wait a minute. Definitely one more. Alright. Cool. But yeah, today has been a pretty chill day, like, ah, I don't know why, but like, I'm s totally not a morning person. It feels like, uh, yet I am, like, I just have a really bad control of like, waking up in the morning, because if I feel sleepy, I just want to sleep more, and I've been trying to get better at it, but I just can't. 120 grams of onion. Okay, where's my onion? Onion. There we go. It's crazy because I was watching Babish and um, with a couple of friends last night. <gasps> Actually, I watched Smiley with the same group of friends. It is an interesting movie. I don't know if you guys uh watch horror films, but I oh wait, I just have to add one. Right, 120 grams. I yeah, that's right. Next is to boil it for 60 seconds. Okay, cool. But yeah, I, uh, Moist Critical. I'm gonna at him. I'm gonna ping him. This man said that this movie, this movie, right? I can't even talk. Um, he said that it was good. So they had high expectations. Oh, that's the wrong one. But that movie was, it was a lackluster, if I had to be honest. Um, how do I set up timer? All right. Q and then uh huh okay that should be good <gasps> wait I don't have water I need to add water right no I have chicken broth I'm I'm flipping <laughs> oh my gosh I am really tripping out it just didn't seem like there was water in it I wonder if it's because the like of the lighting but I hope you guys like the Halloween lights. I definitely want to- Oh, so like, speaking of Halloween, um, dude, I can't focus on a topic, can I? <laughs> Sorry. I had a ladle already. What? I didn't even have to buy it. <gasps> I didn't have to buy the ladle. Damn. Can I put you here? No. Oh, crap. That should be good. Or not. Maybe I, um... Okay. But, yeah, like... The the way they kept the creepy ambience in the movie was, like, perfect up until, like... I don't know, like, the CGI part was a little bit funky. And, uh... Oh, crap. I do not want to overbake them. Let's see. I'll put you here, and then I gotta blend it. I'm sure. But just in case. I'm gonna see the next step. Blend and add 150 milliliters of sour cream. Okay. Blend in it. Which I don't really know how to uh, blend it that well. Let's see. Move down. Okay. And then. It was. Oh gosh, I forgot the sour cream amount. 150. Alright, cheese. 
But yeah, they were really good at cre- making the creepy ambience, and but then like, and the tension and the build up. It was like really good up until the last uh, part of the film, which is a little, little sad, but what can you do? Hello? Oh, I thought I had more. We're gonna dump that, and then where's this? All right. Uh, huh. Oh crap, that's a lot of sour cream. <laughs> oh man, alright. Anyways. But like, yeah, my- what, what is it? Game Pizza said that it was just also disappointing in the end. So I would say voice critical in that aspect, uh, it's interesting. I need to watch his review, but my friend said he said it was good. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. 300 into a deep plane. Basic? Is it this deep plate? No, it's this one. Okay, and then we get a ladle. 300, right? Okay, I'm just gonna... Ooh! <gasps> okay, this is so much better than my method. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sal, you were right! You were right! That should be 200, and then I'll add... To add one more. Okay. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! What? Hey! What was that for? Rude. I'm gonna have a deeper one. What was that, guys? Did you see that? I didn't even do that intentionally. We're gonna have 350 soon, just cause I'm... Nar. Heck nar. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't even poke it. Serve hot. I am hoping it's hot. I don't know the temperature, but like... Uh, we'll just take it. We'll give it to him but in terms of horror film category my friend said it the best like it's all right it's better than other horror uh film hey yo let's go oh <gasps> we got five stars all of them taste realization time overall score let's go guess complaints it was perfect <gasps> Yay! Alright guys. But dang it, I want to elaborate more on Smiley. But I just I cannot think when <clears throat> not the big trout. Alright, take the trout, season it with black pepper, lime, sea salt. Sea salt? Why why did I say that so country? Sea salt. <laughs> Uh, alright, put that there, and close y'all, and then you see the grams of salt, the seasoning, 555, five, five. okay, dill, thyme, and black pepper. Alright, I'll put you this way in the seasoning area, black pepper, one, two, oh, crap, that's a lot, <laughs> it goes by, okay, one, two, three, Four, five. I'm gonna make you a little bit. There you go. And then dill. Oh, I was making soup the other night, and it was so good. And I think it was because of um, I added dill uh, leaves. It was such a game changer. I think that's what makes it taste like a little bit sour. I don't know, but it was amazing. That's not it. All right. Place on baking tray and bake for nine. 900 seconds. I mean, 990. Goodness me. Alright, so there's the baking tray. Let me just uh, pick you. <clears throat> Alright. Tells me to bake it. Uh, okay. It's crazy that I could just touch this without like any. And then for 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. Yeah, 
But yeah, let me elaborate on this movie, right? So like, if you guys like a thriller movie, I think it's definitely, uh, what is it? Because thriller movies are really good at the, the buildup as well. And I feel like recently we've been really spoiled with like some really good thriller movies. Uh, like A24 definitely has a good bit. Um, but like, hmm. Hmm. Or movie wise, it's just like a little. Because, like, once everything happens and, like, the climax and everything, like, begins, it just ends immediately. And you're like, wait, what? There, that's it? Like, and, and there's so many moments where they did, like, close ups of people or, like, objects. And you think, so, that, like, close up means there's, like, importance to it, like, later in the story. But there's nothing that elaborates on that. So it's like, uh, man, like, why did we, why did that even happen, you know? Oh my gosh, the most satisfying part of the pot. Amazing. We have a new order? Wait a minute. I have to cook while I, <gasps> Okay, I'll get back to you real quick. Um, let me just do this for a moment. All right. Okay. <clears throat> what are you? Pork chops with baked potatoes? Uh-huh, season. Okay, let me do this first. Uh, horseradish dried. Okay. Horseradish. Um, but if you guys want to watch like a creepy movie, then maybe I recommend it, but like, it's not, mm, I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you just want like a pretty vibey, kind of creepy-esque movie, then I'd go for it. But don't expect much of it. All right, so we did that. Transfer into the plate, hot. All right. I think we can just touch this, right? All right. Am I gonna drop it? I might. So let me just take the tongs out and like, <laughs> uh, no. Shift. Let me just uh, move vertically. Uh-huh. Okay, and then, no, 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 that's not enough. Rotate. Okay, and then drop. Oh, we did it! Also, hello, Psycho Stain! Welcome in, welcome in. I was just talking about, um, oh crap, it spilled there too. I was talking about how Smiley was like kind of a lackluster movie. Have you watched it? <clears throat> Let me get the pork chops out now. Uh, season it with four grams of salt. One, two, three, four. Or do you plan on watching the movie? Because mm, I, I went out with my friends to watch it. Four grams and time is six. Peppers for crap. That's a lot. That's a lot. No. Okay, and then add to the pan some flour and cook for. Okay. <clears throat> Sunflower oil. That should be good enough to like fry, right? Okay. And then let's see, cut into quarters, transfer, and then get parsley six grams. Okay. I have not. Oh, heard it is the horror movie this year. Wait, really? Ah, uh, that's quite disappointing then, because it it was all right, but like. I wouldn't say it should be the movie of the year, the horror movie of the year. 
Oh crap, let me set the timer to 90 seconds. Uh... No! Okay. Okay. Because it's like, you think something happens, right? And it, it yeah, like, it, everything is quite predictable. Um... I don't know, man. I don't know. I would say if you watch it, don't have high expectations. Two. Three. Okay, uh, whatever. We'll just take that pretty wedge then. <clears throat> okay. And then parsley is four grams. Okay. You can put the recipes in the monitors by the way so I don't have to keep running to the laptop. <gasps> oh, wait, that's what they mean? Okay, because like. Wait. Because they told me I could do that, and I thought I did, but then it like didn't work out. So I was like, okay, true. I guess I'll just go to the laptop. Huh. That would make everything so much like faster. <coughs> Alright. Our big trout is done, and it didn't fall into the ground. So, that's just great. <laughs> oh no! Why the taste got... <gasps> we have... Well, it's like... Four, technically four stars. <laughs> Three point one. Wrong amount of product. Are you kidding me? I added four. Okay then. I guess I can't really. Okay. Also, am aren't I supposed to flip this? Like. Oh my gosh! I think I am supposed to flip this. Uh. Shift. <laughs> Get back in! No! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Guys, don't don't worry. It's just a little mishap. They all like the burnt stuff. Customers like burnt things. Oh my gosh. Okay. The. the. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Please! I need it. I need it. Oh, hey. Alright. That is uh, a little... Okay. Okay. <laughs> we fixed it. Um, what is the name of your restaurant so I can <laughs> not go there? <laughs> It is called, that is a good question, it's called, um, the bougie. <laughs> because we have the most, um, innovative techniques, you know, and it might be controversial, but it, that's why it enhances the flavor. That's what makes it taste so good. Oh! <gasps> I didn't know you could do that! That's so cool, thank you. Thank you, Sal. This just makes life so much easier. Um, take potatoes, cut with- season with salt. Hmm, interesting. I should do that, huh? Potatoes... Okay... 300 gram. Uh, 150? One more. All right. But how was your day, Sol? I hope uh, your weekend was pretty chill and pretty good. Where's my spatula? That is some nasty looking pork chop. I I think I'll have to redo this. This is gross. Like, no one wants that. No one wants that. No one wants that! 
<laughs> Why is it? <laughs> Go away. All right. I'll just cook the potatoes first. Okay, season with salt. <clears throat> six grams. I'm guessing six grams each. Okay. And then cut into chunks. Okay. And then let me rotate it. Nice. Big chunks. Mm hmm This is technique, guys. Technique. How satisfying, though. I love this. <laughs> Alright, bake into the baking tray. Uh, oh, no. Where's the baking tray? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. And then I'll just rotate it. Uh-huh. Um, I don't feel quite comfortable with that. It somehow worked out. I am not complaining. And then we go- I guess this is a baking tray. And we gotta cook it for how long? 80 seconds. E. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, okay. If you want to go watch it, I recommend watching it with friends. Um, going on the topic of Smiley. Okay, let's get that pork chop ready. Oh yeah, I see your caption. See something about Indigenous Indigenous Day? Even, uh, even you first went live. Yeah, like, um, what is it? I noticed that, like, people were off because of Christopher Columbus Day, but let's be real. Why are we celebrating him? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I know in the calendar it said Indigenous People's Day, so I was like, yeah, let's just, uh, kind of recognize that aspect of it instead of Christopher Columbus. And just because they went through so much crap and, uh, like back in the days i mean still now i like even in canada canada i heard that like they had these schools to like kill the kids you know that's yeah that's really messed up so i'm just like there needs to be a day where they just like celebrate their own culture and everything it's really beautiful too all right now i can add the time okay and then but yeah thank you for mentioning that oh, the potatoes already Cool! Oh, it looks amazing. It looks so good. There we go, and then heat that up. We will add the pork chops. We'll cook it for like 90 seconds each side. Oh, 90 seconds each side. Hmm. Well, as indigenous human myself, I appreciate that. OMG! Wait, for real? Dude. Which tribe? I'm like really invested in learning more about like, uh... Looks like indigenous tribes all around America just cause... Like I really wanted to go to Arizona and like... What is it? Our church had this thing where we like meet with Namaho. Navajo games? And I was like, oh, I wanted to go just so I could like learn more about like what they do and their language and stuff. I find it so beautiful. Yes, ma'am. I am. <gasps> okay, how do I pronounce that correctly? Yakri? That is so cool though. And what, like, where do. What is it? How do I. Like, where's that tribe um, located then? <clears throat> Because like where I live, uh, in the south, mm, I think the biggest indigenous group here are the Cherokees. 
Shout out, shout out. <laughs> but that's really cool, dude. Um, hopefully, like, there's more, uh, what, days to celebrate it. Because I remember learning about music culture and, like, knowing that Roosevelt- Was it Roosevelt? Man, that sleazy dude. This president, like, he's all about, like, helping indigenous people, but, like, he had this- He made this law that, like, they can't dance in public. Oh, where's my spatula? But yeah, they can't dance or sing in public. And I'm like, what is the dog doing? Why you do that? Like, yeah, it was like banned in America, which is crazy because like you guys, they literally lived in America before everyone. So like, ugh, I don't know. But yeah, I just want to like take the time to acknowledge it. Um, <laughs> it's Yaki. Oh, Yaki. That's so cool. That's really neat. Hmm. And let's see, like the colors of the headdresses, is there like, for each tribe or something, is it like different colors mean or like emphasize or signify something? Like what does your tribe, uh, like what, are, what's your, I can't even talk, what's your tribe's like main colors I guess is what I'm trying to ask. Or is that like a thing or I'm just am I just tripping? I'm probably tripping. Alright, 90 seconds, transfer on plate. Okay. I will get the plate now since everything is like pretty much done. I'm just hoping it doesn't fall. Oh my gosh. Please. Huh? Why can't I add it there? I don't like the tongs. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Also, I didn't time it back. Crap. Let me just see how it's cooked. Uh huh. Looks a little. It looks still raw. Okay, let me just flip you then. Uh huh. That's a little. My gosh. All right, there you go. <clears throat> okay, let me find a way. Do I have to use a spatula? If so, I'm all right with that. Let me just take you, put you here. I wish there was an easier way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, alright. Whoa. Yeah, this is an easier way. Uh huh. Okay. Oop. Oh, come on, let's get that. No, no, no. Uh oh. Okay. Let me just uh, put you back. Alright. See how it looks on the other side. Can't tell, but it looks pretty good. If it's undercooked, it's undercooked. <laughs> That's what gives it flavor. Oh my gosh, alright. <gasps> okay, there we go. And then... Alright, I think that's that. It looks, presentation-wise, crappy, but I really hope that the taste is good. Nar, I'm not taking a photo of that. <laughs> the taste was bad? Oh no, we got mid. Wrong cutting technique, wrong amount of product. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Four, six. Okay, okay. 
Once you finish, we're closing down. Okay, we definitely... What a tragedy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please. Let's just dump you right here. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Famish. Oh, wait, let me read your uh, comments now. They were originally from Mexico area. Ooh, but after Mexico gained independence from Spain, they basically forced them to leave, and we ended up primarily in what is now Arizona. Oh, that's so cool. Also, the colors are red, white, and blue, but our flag has a cross in the middle with the sun, moon, and stars. Right! Um, Arizona has like the prettiest flag design, I think. Like, I could wear it as like a, a jacket design or something. It's very beautiful. Like, dude, heck, Alabama, we have like the most redneck, rural- Okay, I'm just gonna like insult our state's like flag design, because why do we even have that as our flag? It's just- it's like has all the problematic history mm, i don't know i'm sure that there's like an artist out there that can make a better design of the flag like you know kind of like why are we holding mm. never mind <laughs> i never mind but let's see being undercooked gives a flavor i'm not eating a glove yeah, I mean, isn't it pork chops? The the rarer it is, the better it tastes. <laughs> I swear, it, it tastes good. The rawness of the pork will make you make your stomach feeling so good at the end. <laughs> Glow's restaurant. Oh my gosh, low key restroom, low key restaurant. At Glow's restaurant, salmonella is just a season. <laughs> exactly. Salmonella is the way to go, guys. E. coli, mmm, delicious. <laughs> I'm so sorry for those who had that. <laughs> um, not trying to make light of that in any way, but it's the, the seasoning way in the closed restaurant. I mean, it's not cool. Mexico forced us away from our homelands, but yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, definitely. That aspect, not cool at all, right? But, but I... I don't know, it's just like, I like learning more about it. But it is tragic how, like, that always had to happen. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I guess that's one way to clean it. Is it? Oh no, wait, let me... Spongin. Spongin. Okay. E. Cool. You cannot undercook, uh, pork? Oh my gosh. I think you're just saying that, Famish. <laughs> you just haven't had undercooked pork, man. <laughs> it's good, I promise. <laughs> Gotta try it when you're eating at my restaurant. <laughs> I'm loving this playthrough, though. Thank you, thank you. It is- it do be nice vibes, indeed. Is mad relaxing to watch, right? <clears throat> I mean, despite the fact that it's like, it can get chaotic and a little bit untimely, it is relaxing. I think I'm getting the hang of all the, the cooking mechanism, but... <laughs> Same, I just recently started buying books and reading old newspaper articles to learn more about my people. That's awesome. Yeah, like... <laughs> what is it? I feel like America's education doesn't really do well in... Uh, like educating us about like the indigenous side of America. Like we, I mean, to be fair, our literature book had um, a whole section about like indigenous poetry and like how they do their own um, poems, I guess. But like history wise, it's just like, they always focus on like the, like, the British, I don't know, it's just like so repetitive. Like, if we were to learn history, I want to learn every, like new things about it. So like, that's why I don't remember dates, just cause, I mean, 
except what july 4th and what the titanic and that's it <laughs> i wish it was like more uh i don't know i want to learn more about the trail of tears because that's also in my state like a part of it oh no did this freeze okay that is freaky oh i finished I will absolutely not try it. <laughs> now a steak is a different story. Oh, true. No, you gotta fully cook a steak, man. What you talking about? You gotta make it like super thick and chewy. <laughs> Leave all the fat out. You gotta cut the fat out. <laughs> I think Famish needs a little, little teaching from the glow, the chef glow. <laughs> But I hope your weekend has been good, Famish. Are you guys gonna barbecue or something? Since uh, I know a lot of jobs, uh, today is like a holiday. <clears throat> and ooh, we could have a skill point. Okay, so let's see. Uh, kitchen decoration. Is there one that makes recipes cheaper? Liquids cost, products cost less. Um. Upgrading recipes. Upgrading recipes? I could do that. Spices are less. Dang. They're like individually. That's really cool though. <clears throat> I want to lose less of my fame. Just because we got to keep a reputation up, boys. <laughs> Let's see. The only indigenous people America cares about are the ones that help them in the wars. Exactly. Like what? Like, give light to all the individual tribes. I'm- I wanna, like, read all about it. Mm. Mm. And also, like, American history is just so boring once it's repetitive. Like, I don't- Like... Change it up a bit. Change it up a bit, I don't know. Like, I feel like the education system definitely needs to do better. In that. But I'm glad that the resources that are- uh, in the internet, um, it's just like, makes it easier to assess those, like, information. Because I can't imagine, like, having to, like, look for that manually back in, like, before the internet. <laughs> before Google. How'd you guys do it? Oh, uh, weekend was good. No holiday for me. Oh, shoot. Damn. But I'm glad it was good, though. I'm glad you're chilling out here. Thank you for stopping by the chaotic, chaotic, I can't talk, chaotic cooking stream. Let's see, what is dish taste tolerance? Hmm. <clears throat> Products, Products lose their temperature lower. Okay, I've got to level that up. Hmm. That would definitely save some time for me. And choose a recipe oh my gosh wait duck broth mm. let's do french fries <coughs> 15 grams i don't even know what that means how do you even measure that when you're cutting them into pieces <coughs> i feel like i'm gonna hate it but we're out here trying to do new things right you're going to need some new ingredients for that recipe you can find them in the store or in the larder we unlocked steak. The ingredient can be found in the shop and the larder. Cool. From now on, we'll start using rosemary twig. Look for that in the shop, okay? Great news, we got enough recipes to start making our own menu. Okay, I like trying to do this thing, customizable thing, right? Wait. <coughs> oh, not yet. I want to make a customizable dish. Where it's orange juice ramen or hot dog carrot because like please i want them to try the worst thing possible <laughs> crazy right but when i'm researching things i still prefer books and published articles because for the most part they are written by professionals slash experts in those fields correct that is very correct i uh hmm, i do be missing going to the library so i might just like do that and some books in that category is there an article you recommend or like a book but the internet is a good resource but almost anyone can say anything and a lot of it is very condensed oh, oh whoa two ayo what's up sky welcome to the stream 
I am in the process of raising the Glow Restaurant. Um, it's all about undercooking pork for the flavor and the juices, right? And under uh, overcooking steak. <laughs> but let's see. Um, that is so true, though. Like anyone can make an article online. Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll stop by the like oh, I can't talk the library <laughs> for you know those kinds of resources. But yeah. Hello, hello. All right, maybe I'll do customizable experience. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's so cute. We could choose. That means I have to buy a recipe though, don't I? Hmm. <coughs> All right, transfer. How do I go back? Uh, okay, we can do this. What am I doing? Oh, right. I did not see that. Add to menu, add to menu. <clears throat> we'll add that to the menu. Okay, how do I escape now? E. If a dish in your menu includes ingredient of the day, all the dishes served during the day will grant you bonuses. Try to get all of them. Oh, okay, cool. <clears throat> and that includes creating the menu, start a new day when you're ready. Awesome. All right, sorry, I was a little distracted, but I hope your I hope your day and uh, I guess afternoon is going well, Sky. Thank you for stopping by and chilling. Within an hour, we will be open for business. Use the time to get ready. Okay. Definitely buying a little bit more of the horse. No, not the horse. The chicken broth. And I'll put that on the side right here. We need some sour cream. Take another one. Another sour cream is like here. Oh, that's chicken broth. Do we need one more? I'll I'll get one more. But have you left your food to marinate on the floor yet? Surprisingly? Surprisingly. Okay, here's the thing. I was gonna do that with this undercooked pork chop, but like, the thing is, it was burnt on the cooked side. <laughs> so it looked really nasty. I was like, I can't serve that. So I redid it, but I got three stars. So I can't imagine what it would have been like if I, I served that burnt pork chop. <laughs> Crazy. clean all this though so many so many things beetroot onion or as they say onion and the spatula can go here what is nice though is to have another cutting cutting board <laughs> okay like that could be the meat And I think we need a little bit more oil because we're gonna- we might fry some things. Okay. And do I have to buy some recipes? Let me see. Can I pin all of them? And then not owned. Ooh, fruit salad. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> I want to do some easy stuff too, though. Let's buy you. How do I buy? Can I not? Oh, I'm out. I don't have any. Oh, true. All right. So our goal is to serve a dish with a score of at least three stars. All right, so that is gonna be 
I think an easy win. I mean, what? Our big trout can easily get four stars and higher. Tomato soup, five stars. Pork chops is a little iffy just because um, cooking the baked potatoes and then cooking the pork chops um, separately is just a little hectic. And because uh, of that, I will put the timer <clears throat> right here. Okay. That should be it. That should be good. What's, how long do we have? Three minutes of preparation phase. We have rosemary twig and parsley. Okay. Beetroot. We have a little bit of... Maybe not. I thought we had more. Okay, time to clean. This is so satisfying. Oh, what, what was that? What do? Did I break something? Crazy, anyway. Come on! What are you? I see a fruit or a vegetable on the ground. I'm gonna reuse it. <laughs> we gotta... We can't waste money. It's a potato slice! That could be useful in, in the end. We're just gonna keep that. <laughs> It's worse she's seasoning it by not cooking it, please. <laughs> That's the best seasoning. What you mean, Famish? What you mean? Don't you not cook pork chops too? I should try that sometime. Ayo, let's go. Shout out to Sky. <laughs> Famish, please. Dang. Yeah, in terms of uh experimental food. Oh, what? Sky's like pretty down to m pretty much like anything. Like, oh my gosh, Sky, would you try hot dog carrots? <laughs> I know it's a little outlandish to to ask. But Mike, he sent me this TikTok where um this person was cooking carrots to make it into a hot dog. Is that a carrot in a hot dog bun basically? But it's like seasoned, so it tastes like a hot dog. I think the texture would be a little bit <clears throat> different, a little new. Hmm. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm pretty much good. We have enough seasoning. Ah, uh, black pepper. Yeah, I think that's pretty much good. Unless I need some equipment. Sounds kind of weird, but I guess. Okay, true, true. Let's go. I mean, it does sound weird, but I feel like, um, what is it? Oh, sorry. I am stretching. Uh, like people who can't eat. Oh my gosh, that stretch. <clears throat> Hurt my throat a bit. I don't even know how. But like people who can't eat meat, um, can do this recipe. And I, I wonder if it's good or not. Like, <laughs> like how I consider that weird, but not Robin in orange juice. Oh my goodness, right? You're just desensitized from the orange juice ramen. Which, speaking of... <coughs> speaking of... Maybe you should try it too. <laughs> do it, do it. Wait, but I think you did, right? Oh no, yeah, you definitely did. You said it didn't taste as bad as you thought, but like you wouldn't try it again. Right, right. Sorry, I had like a, a brain fart right there, but... <clears throat> Let's see, maybe your next food adventure should be the, the, what is it, the hot dog carrot. I think I'm pretty much good. Skip serving phase, what's that? New order. Salmon filet. That sounds amazing. And season it. Let me put it here because all the seasonings this way. <clears throat> Salt, black pepper, five. I think I just have to hit it once. It's already five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Add to pan and flour oil. Where did the pan 
that go? Oh. Like, I never know how much to put. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Fry uh, for 60 seconds each. Alrighty. Love that sound. <clears throat> I don't know, it sounds too normal, even though I probably wouldn't make it myself. Right? Like, out of all the, the crazy food out there, it doesn't seem that... <coughs> That janky. Oh my gosh, 60 seconds. Um, let's put it to like 50. Okay. And then for the potatoes, we get the plate. Potatoes. Boil. Okay, so add water. <clears throat> I really don't know how much, but I'm just gonna put enough. A thousand. That's enough. And then salt, 20 grams. I'm like trying to multitask, so. Flip it. Okay. E. And then Q. <clears throat> Boil the potatoes. So I put like 300 grams. That's 300. Alright, that's 300. And uh, I've seen people put a banana in a hot dog bun and put jelly and peanut butter on it. Oh, that sounds so good, actually. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, Sky. That's just giving me ideas now. <laughs> you know what? I might have to do it to him. I just might. Because that's basically the same as like putting a tortilla with like I used to know this person who uh, basically did that but with like tortilla. <laughs> and uh, let's see. I'll put that on the plate. I am gonna be extra careful. All right, cool. Nice. And it went on the good side. Like, the not skin side. Good. More ideas. <laughs> Please. Uh, I, I want to try- like, the thing is, I did try the tortilla thing. Um, with the peanut butter and jelly. It just didn't taste good to me. But I feel like with banana, it might taste better. But, I feel like what would be better is putting, like, um, brown sugar around the rims. And maybe like a little bit in the inner rims while you put peanut butter and jam and banana in it. Or maybe you could cook the bananas with sugar and crystallize it a bit. <gasps> I, I'm doing that. But today I was gonna try and make omo rice. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> but that's not as uh, crazy as the other the other ideas. Do both. Okay, dude. <laughs> I got it. be good yeah I'll definitely uh what post it on the discord whenever I have the chance like I did make the soup I just didn't make it with the fruity pebbles like the soggy fruity pebbles am I supposed to uh put that there but why is it <clears throat> okay so I just put the whole- oh my gosh. Whole potato onto this plate. 
Oh my gosh, I forgot how evil, how devious this little tong is. It's not me, it's the tong. So much easier. This could just... Okay. Actually, I might need you again, my bad. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Alright, that worked. <clears throat> and we don't have to put any, like, reasoning to it? Okay, cool. I feel like that's gonna taste so bland, but, like, I guess. <laughs> they ordered it for me, I guess. Okay, that's not bad. We already did our daily quest today. Nice. It's possessed, just like the candles! Oh my goodness. You know what? For that, let me just dump it. Hold on. Oh, we have a new order, guys. Ah! Okay. I think it's the baking tray. How do I see that? Yeah, alright. <clears throat> Do this again. Baking trowel. Oh gosh, I thought I hit that for a moment. Yeah, surprisingly, it's been very relaxing for this whole gameplay. Um, I'm just hoping I don't jinx it. <laughs> Fine. <clears throat> Salt is this side. I'll change it to five. And dill. Oh, <gasps> you spilled. Not like this. Five. Okay. <clears throat> But are you guys, like, into horror games? I'm curious. Let's see... Alright. Put it in the baking tray for 90 seconds. Please forget about that. Then I leave you here. 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 Turn it on. 90 seconds. Let's see. More games? Not really. Hmm, okay. Because I was about to say, like, if you guys are gonna stream some horror games, let me know because I do be in the spoopy mood. I did watch, uh, I don't know if, um, you guys were here when I was mentioning Smiley, but I feel like the movie's a little bit of a lackluster, so don't, like, if you guys watch it with your friends or something, don't expect too much. <coughs> Can I dump? Nice. Because it always felt like they emphasized things that they didn't like really. Oh, what is it? Mm, go on about later in the movie. So it was just like empty, not plot holes, but like empty plots, plot lines. So it felt very. Just something wasn't there to complete it. And also, the climax of it just happened like 30 minutes like before the movie ended. <clears throat> Let me get that lemon. <clears throat> Time to cut. Time to quarter. Never mind. There we go. Hmm. And then it says to what is it? It's not it. Horseradish. <clears throat> I never tried horseradish by itself. I wonder how it tastes like. It's four. Five. All right. One. Five. <coughs> Goodness, I went. My cat allergies are like still affecting me. <coughs> I went to an apartment, but the cat is super cute. His name is Taro, but like, and I'm still feeling it. The sniffles and the the coughs. <coughs> Now I can cut this into four pieces. Let's see. Let me see if I can rotate it a bit. One. Oh. 
Nice. Okay, let me put one of these. Actually, would be smart to get the plate. <clears throat> Spatula. Because I don't like the tong anymore. <clears throat> Spatula? Where'd the spatula go? Oh, what? Oh, uh, no! I'm trying to look for the spatula. Okay, I guess I'll have to use the tongs. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be like a hit or miss. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is good enough. <laughs> Haunted spatula, it is gone. No. Please. I did everything to make it look so nice and then now it just doesn't have it. Man. Okay, and then parsley leaves. <clears throat> Four. Right? Or six grams. So what is that? Oh, one more. This reminds me of Barbie uh, as Rapunzel, because she like takes out these leaves to make tea. Nice, nice. Okay, let's see the reviews for this one. I'll be really happy if we get five. Oh, so close! Okay. <clears throat> wrong amount of product? They always say that each time. What am I doing wrong? Like, I thought that was the right amount. Crazy. Alright, so this tomato soup. Chicken broth. <clears throat> Good thing we bought some. We were prepared. Oh my gosh, they're all empty? Seven hundred. I have to buy more. Okay. And then we gotta add the tomatoes. Mm, salt. We'll do the tomatoes first. Eight. <laughs> Two. The spatula definitely betrayed me. I feel like SpongeBob. Now I know why he likes spatulas so much now. Tongs are just not it. Sixty, maybe three more. Okay, go here. <clears throat> An onion. Okay. Change that to E. Twelve grams. Peppers. That should be twelve. <clears throat> Cayenne pepper. Six. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're getting the hang of it! I am glad. <clears throat> and then once that cooks for me 60 seconds, <clears throat> then we blend it and then add sour cream. Let me get that. <laughs> Alright, go. But well, we'll use this one. This deep bowl. Deep plate. Here, and then we got ladle. Not yet, though. Not yet. <gasps> I love how 
You can get away with dropping items. <laughs> <coughs> Crazy. I swear, this is a clean kitchen. Like, look how immaculate the floor is. There's no dust. No dust. Everything's shiny. So it's okay if I drop my um, spatula, tongs, or if I have like an angry misfit and like road rage and like, you know, throw pots around. It's okay. <laughs> Move down. Okay. Sour cream now. I think it was like 200? Cleo, no, alright. Oh, 150. Has, how much does it has now? I have no clue if that's the right amount, but let's we'll just go with it. Amazing. Looks so tasty. I actually want to go to Panera right now. I am craving Panera. Panera soup. <clears> hey, <throat> and serve while it's hot. Oh, we did it! This is going by so smoothly. Great. I feel accomplished. <clears throat> oh my gosh! I think we did it, guys. We got the hang of tomato soup. Goodness, let's go. Alright, I feel like there's one more. Another tomato soup? I guess it's that good. But if that's the case, I could just, uh... I don't even have to remake it. This is great. Now I know how chefs feel. Let's go. And is that why it says serve, serve while hot? Because like, you could just make another one and have like, use the leftovers. <coughs> Damn, look at- that's an easy A right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Can it be tomato soup again? Oh, it's a different kind of soup. All right, so we need a thousand, a thousand of, what is it? Chicken broth. Let me just uh, pour some right here. Oh, heck no. <clears throat> Let's have to use the whole thing. Okay. And then salt, 20 grams. Pepper 20 grams. <clears throat> hey, let's put that. One, two. Oh, where are you? Hey. One, two. Cool. Then beetroot, onion, and carrot. Hmm. One carrot? 70 grams. Alright. One carrot. Oh, that looks such- that's such a nice fresh carrot! <laughs> Alright, onions. Lemon. We don't need that. There you go. Onion. And then beetroot. 60. 600 grams. <clears throat> Again, I love beets. They taste like dirt, which is like the best taste ever. It's like clean dirt too. <clears throat> but I just like don't like the texture when it gets old or when it's canned. I like fresh, chunky, not chewy beetroot. Kind of like persimmons too. I don't like persimmons when it's soft. It like tastes better when it's crunchy. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, my throat really is like messing with me. Maybe I gotta eat something soupy. Hmm. I gotta think about what to make <laughs> while I'm cooking in the cooking simulator. Alright, parsley root. Uh, uh huh, parsley root. That's actually this, isn't it? And it says 60? 80, okay. I was like, I have to cut it. Boil, 120 seconds. Hmm. 
620. Oh wait, no. I don't know if I did that right. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> Pour the liquid. Uh-huh. So we don't even blend it? <coughs> Simple Ukrainian borscht? I wonder if this is accurate though. And it looks it looks really good. Crazy. I'm just waiting it waiting for it to like turn purple. But I guess during that I could like clean this up. <coughs> Okay. You. What is. I hear flies. Unless that's just like the bus. I wonder if flies can accumulate if you just uh, leave the meat out for too long. Which is real interesting because I didn't know that could be possible. How's it looking? Did I not set it? Oh, I didn't set it. Uh huh. <laughs> well, hopefully that's accurate. I really don't know. <clears throat> How's it supposed to? Am I supposed to like mince it? Leaving out me is just seasoning. <laughs> yeah, like everything is just for seasoning. It's a little extra flavor. You get it, fam. <laughs> See, best restaurant. They don't even know. My, I think my reputation's like pretty good too. <laughs> the whores. Can you imagine? Like, I, I remember watching this person make like a DIY restaurant, and um. He basically cooked customers like microwavable like pasta and they gave out really good reviews like I don't know like if you can wing it if it tastes good to them like <laughs> All right, hopefully that is cooked and I'm gonna blend it mm, Hold on. Do I not blend it? Let me look at the is this 50? Let me get that. Where do I- which plate? Deep plate. <clears throat> Is that just- it looks like water to me. Am I going crazy? I feel like I should blend it. I don't care if it's not part of like the recipe. I'm just not... We just can't do this. There we go. <clears throat> all about improvising. See, it's all for the flavor, guys. Mmm. Like, look how rich that is. It might be a little bit chunky. Which I, I think is, uh... I'm not part of the plan, but whatever. Right? <laughs> okay. One more. And yeah, if there's like maggots in the meat that's like left out, that's that's also for flavor, you know? <clears throat> The taste? Why does it taste weird? Only got three three stars. Too much carrot, too much onion, and too much parsley root. And it was too cold. Oh, okay. Hmm. No taken. All right. Once you finish, we're closing down for the night. And no more new orders. Okay. Cool. If that's the case, then let me dump that real quick. <coughs> 
Can you imagine if I left it out? I wonder if it goes bad. Like, would it taste really bad to the customers if I give them, like, old soup? Can I try that? I'm curious. <clears throat> uh, okay. Chicken broth is good. Throw this potato out. We don't really need it. It was like, it's like too specific. <clears throat> okay. That seems pretty good. The beetroot and the onion should stay there. The cayenne pepper. Cayenne, not cayenne. What? <laughs> Please! Okay, I can't talk. I'll just leave the other seasoning. Is this salt? No, horseradish. That right there. Look how tidy it looks in the tongs. I feel like... Do I put you... Oh, I didn't know that. Oh! Oh! It is stuck! Alright, there you go. And I guess I have to buy my spatula again. How rude. It just disappeared. <clears throat> oh my gosh, did I break something? What was that? Oh my gosh, I broke my- Don't That was water, that was water. Please! Breaking things again? Oh my gosh, you know what? We were having such a good, um, unbreakable stream, but now we're just, uh... I- I broke it. I broke that record. And... <laughs> At least it was water though. And it wasn't- I feel like that's the box's fault. Let me just put the box somewhere else. Leave. <clears throat> put you here. Okay. And I don't know. Traffic sounds pretty crazy. I'm saying, I guess we're like in Manhattan or something. Mm. Yeah, but it's really giving me like downtown Gotham. Okay, you know what? This is Gotham. That's why they like all the, the weird crappy food. We're like serving it to all like the monster villains. <laughs> That's my targeted audience. That's why they don't mind my food like being marinated on the floor. <laughs> It makes sense. But don't worry guys, I also accept human customers. Um <clears throat> I think that's pretty much good, right? I feel like maybe I can get more chicken broth. Need to get anything else. What is this? Is that like a flower sifter? <clears throat> Baking tray. Automatic cutter container? Grill pan. Hmm. Oh my gosh! Pin, hello! <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, beautiful. How is your day? My day's like been super chill. <clears throat> like, uh, what is it? I... <clears throat> I recently watched a scary movie. I don't know if you know it, but it's called Smiley. Oh my gosh, my throat. <clears throat> I got mobile delay warning. Oh, don't worry. Thank you for watching me. How's your day going? I hope everything's like... Well with ya. But, let's see. Hydrate? Oh. You got me, sis. Thank you. Hmm. But from your Instagram story, you said that- Yeah, like, uh, also, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> um, you said that your tablet broke down. I'm sorry to hear about that. Like, my iPad- My pen was, like, acting up a bit, too. Like, I don't know why it starts, uh, bugging out, but, like, my iPad can't read it sometimes. I think I heard of it. Was it one with YouTuber directors? Was it? <clears throat> it was like the one with the, the smiling people and <clears throat> they had like a TikTok filter for it. <clears throat> but I would say it's better to watch it with movies. I, I mean, oh my gosh, it's better to watch it with friends instead 
but like by yourself. And uh, yeah, I'm just like thinking about that movie. Cause it's uh, cause Sal said it was like the horror movie of the year, but I mean I could see that with how they built the tension and everything. But uh, I don't know. It felt like the ending was a little not it for like the ending could have been the game changer, but the way that it was, I feel like it shouldn't be called the mo horror movie of the year because of that. And the CGI seemed a little uh, funky. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a food critic. I'm thinking about continuing or just like changing to a different game because, because I wanna do some horror gaming, but. Hmm. <coughs> yes, it happened during the Gartic collab a bit ago. Oh no. Damn, dude, that really sucks, but. While I've been surviving on my iPad, ah, I really need to replace it for work? Oh, <gasps> shoot, right. Dude, that's crazy though. Hopefully you could find a good recommendation. But, ooh, I'm sorry to hear that. I feel like a lot of horrors fail with the endings these days. Right. Um, it's okay though. Like, I had a good time with my friends. Like, we had some really good, interesting tacos. Um, cause they, they had this part, this had, like, one taco was called Detroit Pizza, and it was basically pizza and a taco. So I was like, that's really interesting. I didn't try it, but I wanted to try it. I got like a safer option, which was like something fajitas. And it had like Mexican rice, um, steak, and bell peppers. It was really good. <clears throat> See, nope. Oh, I haven't. What is nope about? Is it on Netflix? But tacos? Yes. Pizza in a taco? That's interesting, right? <clears throat> Where's Mike when we need him to create? That's what I'm saying. But I feel like, um, what is it? I, I don't know if it's tomorrow that he's gonna do the cooking simulator VR, but like, I really want him to cook some, some crazy menu dishes out there. <clears throat> Let me look for a perk to choose. Um... Okay, let's see. I definitely do want to walk faster. Let's just do that. This is- <laughs> this song is giving me like Shia LaBeouf, uh, vibes. Like the beat. <laughs> what is it? Wait, let me let me search up the lyrics. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is great. Okay guys, it's like- <clears throat> You're walking into the woods. There's no one around and your phone is dead. Out of the corner, wait, I need to make it louder. Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. He's following you about 30 feet back. He gets down on all fours and breaks into a sprint. He's gaining on you. <laughs> I am so sorry. I just had to. <laughs> it was like a perfect, a perfect um, beat for that. Um, crazy. But it's really great. It's made by the same guy who made Get Out. Oh, no way. I, I'm sure that's gonna be really good. Because Get Out was a really good, um, like, thriller slash horror film. Refreshing take on aliens? Oh. <gasps> Interesting. Is it like a comedy? If that's the case? Are you talking about the cannibal Shia song? Yes. <laughs> I am talking about the cannibal Shia song. <laughs> It has that beat though, no? Please. I swear. <clears throat> and then more times to burn. Alright, I think we are all set. For day six. Crazy. Uh, add dishes with the following products to the menu to gain bonuses. <clears throat> this one, no? Uh... Why is it red though? Is it like I can't cook it? Uh, uh. I honestly don't know what I'm doing <laughs> with the menu stuff. It's a horror, I think. Oh, and it has a lot of great moments. And that sounds amazing. Okay, I might give it a go actually. <clears throat> I 
heard the food critic will be here in five hours. Within an hour, we will open for business. It's time to get ready for work. All right, food critic. It's gonna be pretty hectic, I, I'm sure. Um, goodness, I swear if he gets this menu, it's gonna be really funny. Because I didn't do well with that last time. But I'll definitely look into Nope. Hmm. I have Amazon Prime for like a moment. I, I started trial just because I wanted to see how the watch party system is on Twitch. And it's a little... I'm not sure about like just reacting or having like a VOD of me reacting to like the movie. But it seems pretty chill. I feel like you just have to have like a event for a watch party. Can't do it like randomly. Which I kind of wanted to. I wanted to like stream Shrek or something. <laughs> but of course, that's like kind of illegal, I guess. So <laughs> we have to do the old, uh, good old reliable. Do I have to prep for anything? I'll get the plates out if anything. Um, we might have some soup. We might have some basic stuff to get ready. Only kind of legal. That's not so bad. Oh, true. <laughs> kind of only illegal. <clears throat> we could skip the preparation, I feel like. Maybe. Actually, let me get a few parsley. And then a few rosemary twig if we need that. What about a Shrek reenact <laughs> reenactment? Oh my gosh. You know what? That'd be one crazy like stream if you just made each frame but with your PNG. Oh my gosh. Pin. You know what? I feel like you should do that. <laughs> Can you imagine? All the other characters are like um other like PNG collaborators. That'd be so cool. That's a cool idea. <laughs> hey, yo, are you gonna- Please, I am begging on my knees. Begging. Do it. Do it. <laughs> we might have to do it to him, right? That's amazing because like, okay, I don't know if the rest knows, but like Pin made this art where she's wearing a- Was it a bikini? <laughs> bikini lingerie and it is poppin'. We need more PNG pin content. Someone beat a Beat Saber map for the whole Shrek movie? <gasps> My friend played the whole thing? I I think I remember seeing that. Um, I think Moist Critical did that at one point, but like he couldn't finish it. It's insane. What what level did they do it on? <laughs> Cause like that's like for the whole movie too, goodness. That's some arm workout. Thank you, Miss Glow. Oh, of course, Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am Pin. Am I still prepping? I am. <clears throat> uh, oh, oh, like, I got the oil. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. The food critic is here? Okay. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to break any plates. I knew it's gonna be this. Alright, Salmon. Salmon filet. Okay. I like that he walks a little faster. Or she. I don't know whose. Okay, and then salt. <clears throat> uh, gotta change it. Five. Oh, so you can miss. I didn't know that. All right, so black pepper. E. <clears throat> there we go. And then add to the pan. Where is the pan? Okay. Filet. Let me just add the oil. Cook it for, I think, 60 seconds, right? Each. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you. 
There we go. All right, so sorry for not reading the comments. I'm like trying to make this good. <laughs> I'll, I'll read it now though. Um, yeah, that's like an hour and a half straight of playing that, right? That's like a legit workout. Um, their arms must have been so sore. <clears throat> I tried Beat Saber and it, it was kind of like disorienting to me. Like I got a little bit dizzy from it. I guess like my brain wasn't used to the um, the whole looking through uh, a world with the glasses. I I don't know. Oh, that's the other way. All right. And then salt. I probably shouldn't cook this. Actually, I can. We're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna wing it. Change the amount to ten. Two. Okay. <coughs> Boil. Okay, where's my spatula? Okay. Gotta flip it. Nice. Oh, whoa. What was that noise? Um, alright. And then potatoes. Two potatoes. Okay. You got this glow. Oh, thanks. Show this food critic what's up. You right. I'm gonna cook them the best uh, salmon filet with boiled potatoes. <clears throat> okay, potato boil for 120 seconds. Oh, crap. Okay, so for this one, maybe that's the salmon filet. This is for the... <clears throat> I'm supposed to activate this. And W for the potatoes. <laughs> All right. And then once everything's done, I should put it on a plate. Huh. Okay, that's not so. That's not so hard. <clears throat> And the salmon should be done. Okay, and the potatoes are still cooking. Nice! Look at that! <laughs> I am proud. Okay, so we gotta cook the two potatoes still. It's like halfway. Um... Our daily quest is to not break any plates, so I'm gonna try to not break any plates. I realized the tongs were the reason why I kept, like, failing. So I'm just relying on the spatula now. Um, our relationship is, like, of that of Spongebob and his spatula, so... Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Glow has done it again! Thank you, Pin! OMG. You know what? Um, me and Sky were talking about this, but would you try hot dog carrot? That should be done. Actually, let me cook it a little more. <clears throat> but for more context, um, Mike sent me like this TikTok of this person cooking a carrot as like to make it taste like a hot dog, and he was like, "This is, this reminds me of you, Glow." <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, true. I hope. Hopefully, I don't spill this." Ooh. That looks a little weird. Wait, let me redo that. <clears throat> nice. Hot dog carry. Yeah, so it's like a vegetarian version of a, a hot dog, basically. Like, basically. Oh yeah, I try that. Always down for healthy alternatives. Oh, let's go. Yeah, it seemed like Mike was really uh, upset about- <laughs> Not upset, but he was just like, what on earth is this creation? But I was like, you know what? I might try it. I might give it a go too. Oh my gosh, Pin. We should we should try it. <laughs> he said salmon steak? What? <coughs> yeah, that's a little what do you mean? Pork chops are unwanted. And chicken broth is unwanted? And carrots? I didn't put any of that there though. 
Strange. Okay, our fame level has went up. Oh my gosh. Let's go, let's go! I gotta take a, a breather from this game though. <sighs> and stretch and hydrate a bit because my throat's still being weird. <clears throat> Honestly, I'd probably think it's weird if I was served one, but I try it at least. <laughs> Man, let's go Sky, shout out. Like this is the experimental food gang right here. Hot dog carrots, but made into pigs in a blanket. Oh, <gasps> that sounds amazing. Dude, I love pigs in a blanket, but sometimes it can be a little too much, you know? So if they can make it taste like oh, that, I would eat it up. Oh my goodness, hello Jedi. Howdy, howdy, how you doing? I hope your uh, weekend and day was all right. But yeah, I am currently cooking and we finished the food critic uh, level. So thankfully we gained a new fame, um, but now I have to cook this trout, which shouldn't be too bad. Because <clears throat> I kind of recognize what I have to do. Season it with salt, black pepper, and dill. That's going to be four maybe. <clears throat> okay. True, true. Wait, time? Oh, black pepper. So no salt? But I, I always added salt before. They liked it. Okay, I'm just gonna put salt in the uh, other one. <clears throat> Where's the salt? Oh. Oh, here you go. Jedi, would you eat a hot dog carrot? Oh, that's a way to- um. <laughs> yeah, that's a way. Um, yeah, would you, Jedi? I'm curious. No context. <laughs> Could be better. I was pretty sick at the start of the day. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope you feel better, dude. But the mints have kicked in now. Oh, that's great. Hopefully, um, you heal fast. Because I, I know the seasonal change uh, has been making people feel a little under the weather. <clears throat> Let's see, baking tray, you go here. <laughs> Glad you're feeling better. Miss Glow, we need another explanation. Okay, okay. Um, so Jedi, so like Mike sent me a TikTok, right? Of this person cooking a carrot and seasoning it like it's a hot dog and making it basically a, a hot dog alternative. So we were like discussing if it was like something we would try. And Sky and Pin said they would try it, but what would you do? <clears throat> would you try the hot dog carrot? <laughs> cursed, really? Yeah, because that's the same reaction Mike said. He said it was a little cursed and uh, he would never, he would not. <laughs> <clears throat> Please, it is, yeah, but I'd still eat it, why not? Oh, let's go. I mean, imagine it with like, yeah, I, I don't think I, well, maybe you could make the buns like grilled so it tastes a little better. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of the well done steak challenge next. <laughs> oh my gosh, Pin, not the well done steak. All about the uh, undercooked pork chops and the well done or overly done steak. <laughs> And then I gotta get the lemons. All right, which, oh, I got it here, thankfully. Actually, I'll do it here. What am I doing? What am I doing? And then we can rotate this around. Okay. Jedi, this reminds me of your um, fried rice stream. People who do like IRL cooking are built different. <laughs> Cause what if it doesn't taste good, you know? Then you have to be like, hmm. Like I always wondered that in the food channel. Like if it doesn't taste as what they planned, then do they just like fake tasting it? Like, <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Cause let me tell you, there are some things I saw 
in the Food Channel, like recipes that were a little questionable. Maybe that's what it where it started all like the chaos cooking ideas. Okay, Jedi, would you try though, OJ Ramen? Would you try it? Because it does taste good, I promise you that. <laughs> Wait, where's the plate? I thought I had the plate. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> nice. Right in the middle too. Let's go. Alright. Not the undercooked pork chops. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's for the extra seasoning pin. Um, all about the undercooked pork chops. <laughs> oh my goodness. Imagine seeing someone say something good, but tears streaming on their face. Right? Oh my goodness, not like this. Basically, Thanksgiving hangouts. It's like, um... How can you tell people that, like... Oh, that's so cute! Like, you can't ask for more salt or that'll be rude, so you just have to, like, suffer. <clears throat> I'm not really a picky eater, too, but, like, it needs to have salt in it sometimes. I need it. Okay, it says parsley leaves. Fresh. Six grams. So two for six, so... Please, I'm almost done with this. Almost. Can confirm. Let's go. Yeah, Sky is a witness. He tried OJ ramen and he he enjoyed it. He can confirm. It tastes good. <laughs> the OJ ramen. Yeah, I'm bringing it back. Pin. We're we're doing it. It's like how you and um, who is it? Who is it? Azure, you guys are bringing back the ROTFL. We're gonna bring back the <laughs> OJ Robin. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I think I told him and Jackal the lore on that. Let's go. Wait, is that another new order? Oh, so I could click this like together. All right, all right. <clears throat> Why are you guys stacked? No. You know what? I don't care at this point. We're just gonna improvise and um, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I think I was there when you told them, and it was really great seeing their, uh, reaction. <laughs> oh my gosh. Girl, did I ever tell you about the cursed mac and cheese I had eaten once? Oh no, you haven't. I'm curious. What is this, uh, cursed mac and cheese? ROTFL. <laughs> I can't. You guys are the, the slaying trendsetters, for real. Because <laughs> I'd be, I'd be saying things that you guys say, too. But I'll definitely join in the train on that. ROTFL. <laughs> oh my gosh. Speaking of cursed mac and cheese, have you seen the hot Cheetos mac and cheese? Hey, yo, I actually haven't. That sounds really good, actually. That sounds so amazing. <laughs> Wait, let me try the water thing first. <clears throat> We could cook four. Four of this. I actually- wait, would you try the hot Cheetos mac and cheese? <clears throat> yeah, and uh... What is it? Where is it? Okay, I got the four potatoes. It should cook now. And then, uh... Sunflower oil. So ten. This music be chillin', I like it. I like it a lot. 16 grams, five? <clears throat> uh huh, wait, how much salt is in this? Okay. Oh, that has five. Okay, actually, that works in my favor. I thought it was a different amount. Okay. <laughs> That's cursed. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Mac and cheese ice cream? Wait, elaborate. I had- oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys, but like, I had pickle beer last night. It was actually really good. 
Like, the pickle cancelled out the alcohol. And it smelled like pineapple juice. It was very strange, <laughs> but a good experience overall. And I also tried blueberry muffin beer, which was also really good. But I went to a friend's Halloween party with two of my friends and the whole- uh, The friend whose party it was, um, <clears throat> her mom made this mac and cheese, right? Oh, shoot, girl. <laughs> I brought this up for weeks. As the best thing ever, she was so excited for us to try this apparently amazing mac and cheese. Oh gosh, it was like slightly overcooked noodles with very light cheese sauce over it. And oh my gosh, there were dry ass breadcrumbs on top. I am so sorry. <laughs> no, you know what? Maybe she was new to the mac and cheese um, food world. I am so sorry for that bit. <laughs> Aren't you, like, part Italian? You must have, like, been so offended. <laughs> Low-key, everyone seems so genuinely like liking it, except for my two friends and I who gave each other the look the entire time. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? Also, no salt or anything? I can't. How do they... That's, like, not even mac and cheese, bro. That's just noodles with salt. That's but. What is it? <clears throat> Butter pasta, basically. Oh, true, I didn't. Let me just reuse this. <clears throat> Salt to this. I have to season the rest of this, I think. No, wait. I don't have to. Wait, can I put this on top, too? Weird. Yeah, I was in hell. She packaged me up some to take home against my will. Please, I can't. Dude. I mean, that's really sweet and considerate just because they think it's super tasty, but like, damn. Wait, did you say no thank you? Like, you, you could have been like, oh, you know what? It's so good. You guys should just take it for yourself. <laughs> or is that like a backhanded, like obvious backhanded compliment? Damn. Not like this. That, I am sorry, that's pretty tragic. Oh gosh. No, I was polite about it. Oh shoot. Dang, wait, so what did you do with the leftovers? Did you like, eat it? <laughs> uh-huh. Where's my spatula? Alright. Okay. <coughs> I took the L. Oh my gosh, not like this pin. And I need two plates, two plates. Hell not, I gave it to my dog. Oh my gosh, shout out to <laughs> the doggo eating the the pasta that it never made. Oh my goodness. Wow. Perfect. <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought I broke something. Okay. Yeah, he- that- Finn's doggo needs a shout out. Good doggo for real. Oh, true. There we go. At least it ended up being eaten. You right, you right. But that is absolutely crazy. Um... I don't know. I feel like... Maybe they like that mac and cheese because it was like... It had texture and it had like light flavoring maybe but that is very strange though very strange indeed hmm. okay and then i take you and then i cook you okay hmm. I don't have to put anything else, right? Alright. Wait. 
Alright. Okay. Her mom is a great baker though, 10 out of 10? Ooh, I see, I see. <laughs> Salmon steak, unwanted. Is it like they could taste the flavor of that? I'm so confused. Maybe that's because I'm like reusing the the old stuff. Do I need to clean it? I said I am. Fusion. Oh my gosh. Okay, so gotta get that trout, season it. Okay. But wait, what does she bake that like you really enjoyed, Pin? Because it's interesting, like, me and my friends were watching the British Bake Off and we watched, like, the controversial one, apparently, on Twitter, um, that was, like, Mexican week and they, like, ma baked really cool desserts, but, like, when it came to, like, I think, cooking, it was just not it. I'm like, it's really interesting, that duality. Like, one can be a good baker, but... Oh no! Uh uh. Which one is the cooked side? I can't tell. Okay. Uh. Time dill. Let's see. And then horseradish, where it's cooked in the baking tray. Easy. Let's go. I hope it doesn't burn. I feel like I it's been a while since I've checked on it. Okay. Why does it look a little burnt to me? Weird. <clears throat> And she made a bunch of pastries! Oh, that sounds amazing. And these... Oh, I forgot the word, but they were like the caramelesque things. Caramelesque things. Interesting. <clears throat> Was it like, uh... It wasn't like just caramel? Interesting. That sounds really good, though. Like, uh... Oh, you know what? That reminds me of, um... Argonaut cookies? <clears throat> Which is basically cooking sugar um, mixed with baking powder, or is it baking soda? I don't remember. Maybe ba baking powder. And it makes it taste so like sweet and bitter. <clears throat> you wink. All right. Why is it? Why is half cooked? I don't like it one bit, but I guess we'll. It'll just have to be. You guys ordered this here, you guys get it. <laughs> Gosh, this is so bad. I am not surprised. <laughs> that definitely deserved the three stars. Yeah, heating the steak. Okay. And we need the horseradish. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'll definitely take a photo and send it to you on the Discord. Uh, <gasps> oh, that was way too close. Perfect, perfect. <clears throat> Vimsh, I know, right? Vimsh the best. Making me kind of crave it, not gonna lie. That enough. Damn, Pin, let's go! Shout out! <laughs> Thank you for redeeming the, uh, the carrot hot dog slash OJ ramen challenge. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should 
try it and see what the hype is all about. <laughs> I see we have a new challenge. We do. Oh my goodness. Thank you for redeeming it. <laughs> Oh damn, Sky you too. Oh shoot. You guys are ready. Um oh but the fun thing is I bought a Raiden uh Shogun Raiden cosplay. <clears throat> so if you guys uh redeem it maybe like before Halloween, I'll do it when I have the Halloween uh costume on. If not, then I'll just do a, a VTuber reaction to it. <laughs> Locked and loaded, it needs to happen. Oh my goodness, you guys. All about it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey yo, yeah, and it'll be my first cosplay too, so I'm gonna try to practice like my makeup skills now. But thank you, thank you for the hype. <laughs> Gosh, I'm excited for it. Like, I always wanted to cosplay, but it just like never happened. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do it to him. But yeah, <laughs> I'm hyped to see you as Raiden. Oh, thank you, thank you, Queen. I am curious because I I never transformed into anyone before. Hmm. Have you ever cosplayed Pizza as Ye Miko Win? <laughs> hey, yo, that's absolutely a must now. He has to. <laughs> he has to be the pink oo girl. <laughs> Because he said that, I'm gonna suggest it to him. He, I think he said he wanted to be like Ghostface or something, but nar. He has to be Yay <laughs> Miko. Or Yay Miko. <gasps> Are we done? I think we're done. Oh my gosh, let's go. Hmm. Baking plate here. Oh gosh, that's been on? For how long? Oh no. Pepper should go here, salt, cayenne pepper's in the middle, thyme and dill pepper, <clears throat> blender you should go here, oh my gosh. Blender? Okay, I kind of froze right there, my bag. Oh my gosh, that's still on? Alright. I cosplayed a random Pokemon trainer back in the day, but I always wanted to get into it. Oh my goodness! Pokemon trainer? A random one? Um, it, like, which generation? Like, the older generations or like the newer ones? Okay, and I'll put you here. Prep for any soup. This way. You are not fresh anymore. I would use it, but done. But yeah, I would love to see you cosplay more. Pin. I know. I don't know if Anime Con is um like starting right now in New York, but like it's literally. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want. The one time I could go or win was like the time I was financially not set to cosplay. But like, yeah, now that I'm ready, I'm like, goodness. I'm like still uh, at my hometown. And there's not a lot of like, I guess like pop culture stuff like that happening around. Maybe in like Birmingham, but. Hmm. I would love to go to a con though as a, a character. I feel like I need more chicken. Hmm. All the characters I want to cosplay are small and petite, and I have Booba. Oh, I feel like it would look weird. Oh, nar. I mean, oh, I mean, oh no, as in like, nah, you're good, dude, you're good. Like, I feel like people wouldn't be that uh, mad over it. But also, I know people who got mad over like, um, <clears throat> like, what is it? 
There's this one my friend showed me. He had like this cosplayer had all these comments saying that she wasn't like the what, what is it? The correct race to cosplay and I'm like, excuse me? Like you could cosplay as a character. You don't have to be like any race about it. So like goodness. I feel like, yeah, in terms of that, like there's that toxic side in terms of cosplay, but like I feel like in reality though, it shouldn't be. Because you're just trying to dress up as a character. I think we need more sour cream. <clears throat> we will snatch you back to New York. Hey <laughs> yo, oh my goodness. I I have my hands ready. Snatch me up, please. <laughs> but I am thinking about finishing my illustration degree, but that's a huge question though, because my dad's like he wants to purchase uh, his gas station property and he had to borrow a loan I guess and he said he has to like save up and work a lot <clears throat> and I don't know if like me going back to college will help with that so I don't know that's like a, a big question it'd be uh, nice to go back to New York again you will be missing the food there like goodness yeah, it's insane how mean people get about cosplay, right? Man! Aww. Uh, no. I can't- Um- <clears throat> Yeah, it's insane how mean people get about cosplays. I think I'm mostly hesitant because women with bigger breasts are always assumed to be lewd no matter what. Aww. I don't think people think I'm looting these characters. Damn. Oh, thanks for the hydrate pin. Um. Damn. I could see that too. Hmm. But someone with like a, uh, cause I'm a girl. It like what is it? Itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> so like I never seen mm, that kind of comments towards. Like, what is it? How am I gonna word this? Cause it's like people with straight hair always wanting curly hair. It's like, oh my gosh. If I see Big Booba, I'm just like, you are an absolute queen. Like, I'm gonna go on my knees and bow down. <laughs> Full respect. Like, girl boss in mode, you know? <laughs> but it really does suck how like, um, especially if you're in the city, how like, easily sexualized you are though um just because of like anything really like yeah big boobs or like just like showing a little bit of the chest or like your cake it's just like instant cat calls it's just yeah i could see why you'd be uncomfortable with it but damn like if people if people think that they just ain't it man <laughs> they just ain't it they gotta respect they got bowed down we gotta just treat you as a goddess, man. <laughs> True skill? Oh my goodness. Let's go. I think... Spice, spices? Spices. <laughs> what is that? Liquids or products? I think products should cost a little less. Um... <clears throat> and buying and upgrading recipe should be a little bit less. And yeah, derpers. What are derpers? I haven't heard of that before. <clears throat> For real? I just want to be Madoka. <gasps> I was actually, I legit just thought of that. I was like, does Pin want to dress as like the Madoka Magica girls? <gasps> that would be so, so cute. Pin, please. I am. My hands are together. My hands are ooing. Can you please do it? <laughs> Oh, who's pin? <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> please. <laughs> I would love that. That's so powerful, girl. Miss Mail, do it. Do it. I want to dress as all the magic girls ever. Dude, that's such a goal. <clears throat> that is. If I see you as one, I'm just gonna implode and explode and ascend to the heavens i might have to do it for miss glow <laughs> yes okay yeah if anything um 
You should definitely go with friends if it makes you like feel uncomfortable, you know? Because I feel like with friends, um, <clears throat> it's better uh, to just like meme around, <laughs> goof around a bit. <clears throat> I don't know how people can cosplay and go alone. I feel like that's like big balls right there. I don't know. <laughs> But yes, please do. I honestly would love to um, draw you if you do cosplay as like a magical girl. Or even like draw your PNG. <clears throat> Cause true, you do be PNG. I- <laughs> I'm just so true, that's a good idea. Right. But let me see, is this Ratatouille? Please go- <laughs> Glow, I would cry for real. Oh my goodness. Miss Pin, you gotta, you gotta. And maybe you could go with Squid. <laughs> oh my goodness. Queens, absolute queens. <clears throat> oh my goodness, we have a little bit more complicated recipe. Um, salmon filet. This is a little boring. I might take this because it looks delicious. It would need, need some new ingredients for that recipe. And he already says this. Gordon Ramsay already knows. <clears throat> that day. Cool. What is that sticker? What? <laughs> hey yo, let me look at that real quick. Um, what is this? What is that? It looks like a a centipede shell. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, true. <clears throat> Today's special is tomato soup, but I think I'm gonna call it uh, a stream just cause. But let me see who I can raid, or if there's anyone you guys want me to raid, I'm definitely open for that. <clears throat> oh my goodness, Azure, welcome, welcome. Thank you for contributing <laughs> 2000 to the carrot hot dog slash OJ ramen. Taste test challenge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Kara was lurking. Oh my gosh, you dropped the mic with that, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, thank you for the amazing stream goal, of course. Thank you for joining in, guys. Um, Let's see. I'm going to look for a good streamer uh, to raid so that you guys can just keep lurking, doing what you're doing. Um, ooh, if you guys are feeling a little spooky... This raider's, uh, raider, this streamer is a pretty chill streamer too. Okay. <clears throat> hello, Azure, hello, Pin. The, the best duo right here, the ROTFL gang. But yeah, this person, he is playing uh, Back to the Terrors. It's a little spooky. Um, but hey, it's ha it's October. It's for our, the spooky season, right? Um, and yeah, his uh, the way he comments uh, throughout his gameplay is pretty chill too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy RTFL. So true, besties. <laughs> oh my gosh, RTFL. <laughs> and uh, our raid message is this. So well, yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day and week. Alright? Alright. <laughs> Bye!